to the fact that Shen and Rek'Sai are going to be able to get Rondwin's Omen. And so MVP are looking to really need to accelerate. Has Ooh. no idea what's coming. Misses the taunts, but here comes Bless. Not going to flash on in, and there's the Stand United. Should be enough. First Blood going over to Bless. And that was a really good gank timing by BBQ. They knew that Ed didn't have a ward inside of the river. Bless is going to have to be really careful. Collateral damage is ready. He's trying to save it. He's just going to kill him without it. And I mean, he just walked out to get Baron. But in addition to that, they have a 1-3-1 potential in the Quirky and the Cannon. Hold that thought. Yeah, this is just going to be a dead Totoro. If you get hit by an arrow with that range and Malzahar is there and there's any form of damage afterwards, you're going to die. And that's what happened. So continue. So, pretty easy pickup. But yeah, the Cannon is going to be completely unmatched in the split push. And when he can just ignore you and take turrets, it doesn't matter. Max might go down here. Yeah, just taken. Pretty standard. He, he actually got baited in there a little bit, going for the. Bombies and Tarondoans would might be a little bit better. Oh, nice moves by Ad. The exhaust comes out. Is it going to be enough damage to the knock up here? Ad is getting extremely low, and he does go down. Nice follow to get the Stand United on him. To attempt to save him. Oh, man, Bless getting caught out here. Will he survive? No, the collateral damage comes out at the perfect angle and takes down Bless. He's claiming the jungle for his own. You can see tons of focus, super heavy focus down here. Totoro just gets blasted out of this game. And oh boy, Ghost taking a lot of damage too. Will throw out his ultimate, totally whiffs here. All they have to do is survive the turbulence and everything will be okay. Ooh, he aimed that a little bit too far behind. And then we have the Flash Nethergrass come in and this is the combo I was talking about with these three champions. The ability to do so down here in bot, they may pay for it with some of their lives though. It looks like perhaps Ed is the sacrifice for that turret. He is going to get a huge ultimate down though onto three members. Bless getting extremely low. Ed does die, but Beyond able to follow it up with a kill. And here comes the rest of MVP. The arrow hits, goes straight in the face. What's he going to do? I mean, he, he doesn't really have much sustain here. Bless coming on in, the big taunt from Crazy. Lots of members of BBQ getting very, very low. Nice kiting here out of MVP. Another shock blast to the face, though. But still, they're able to turn on to Crazy. The double kill here for Corky. And the third Mountain Drake, even more importantly, picked up by MVP. For MVP, this is huge. Look, Look at, at how that damage. fast they take it down. There's the Ziggs ultimate. Bless comes oh. on in, and no, he does not steal it. MVP able to take that one away. Now it's just about getting out of here. Ed doing a nice bit of damage. Oh, oh the collateral damage. Picks up a kill on his way out. What? That was weird. A minute until Dragon. Crazy keeps landing. These max range taunts. With the exhaust, Ed will die here as he can't output enough damage to discourage, discourage rather anyone from BBQ. And All MVP has to do is stall, and Ed will end the game. Yeah. And here we go. They're going to attempt to come on in, burst it down. Can Beyond get the steal? That's the question. It's Bless versus Beyond right now. Bless with the knockup. Bless oh, dies, and Beyond two gets for it. One. Unbelievable. And Tempt is going to pay for it with his life, too. And that should be the end of the game. A huge play by Beyond. What a game out of MVP here. Able to make this composition work almost perfectly. Definitely with the help of some dragons as well. But they do make it work. Ghost on the run. Ed in here. Just taking down every part of this base. That's the second inhibitor that goes down. And with three Mountain Drakes, these towers do not live. And down goes the Nexus. That's going to be game number one going to MVP. And what a way to start off the second series of the night. MVP have to be feeling absolutely fantastic. They took that from him. You know what? Nautilus being a pal. Listen, I'll tell you the story. So Syndra, she came from the void, and she had this like crazy idea about art. And so she talked to Jin. Ash and Kha'Zix all equally benefit from it quite a lot. This was spotted by the Hawkshot, but they're actually just baiting in Bless. There's the ultimate Bless survives. First blood in top. What? Uh, um, OK, we missed that one, but that. <laughs> Ed confused Poppy's lollipop as the cigar, so ah. that's...
Fizzle Voyage coming in. That is Maha and Max. Ghost has barely any mana. Will attempt to flash the wall. Gets Deadly Flourished and devoured. And that should be Ghost going down. Maha gets a bit low, but they are able to pick up the kill. Here comes Bless. Either their mid and bottom tier two would also go down. Attempt using his ultimate to get back in the lane and beyond might be locked down here. Oh, so close. Gets pinned against the wall, though, by Crazy. Wasn't expecting him to come from bot. And down he goes. Uh-oh, Tempt in a bit of trouble. The collateral damage. Oh, and the flash forces that ultimate out, but he goes right back into the hands of Beyond and Ian. And down he should go. One more shot will do it. I think he's going to... Oh. oh. Meanwhile, Max getting himself, or rather Maha, getting himself into a lot of trouble. Max as well may bait these two into Ian and Beyond. No other members are nearby. Teleport coming in from Ed. That might be stopped, actually, by the Poppy. Yes, it is. Oh, well, okay. Ghost just became a ghost. Didn't see him. Totoro also died. Now Ed rotating into mid lane. They're going to pick up this turret. He doesn't even care. Hollow. Or Ian or something like that. Hold that thought. Big stun onto Max. Beyond is going to be devoured here by Max, but Max gets stunned up here. Beyond might meet the same fate. Curtain Call comes out in a huge crit onto Echo, and here comes Ed from Beyond. The big, big ultimate. Ghost is going to just disappear once again. Totoro getting locked up. Double kill for Syndra. Bless. So much CC coming out of this Nautilus. And Beyond, he wants more. Crazy. Might not be able to survive here the red buff. He's forced to flash away. They're going to go into Baron, and that's what I'm Oh yeah. get him to safety. And you could see that Tempt was not expecting that damage from beyond. Able to kill him before he could Man. use his ultimate. We'll see another replay of it. So you see Max and beyond. The 8,000 gold. Maha's going to join the fight again. You were talking about that Kha'Zix. Bless just seems like an annoying fly that's running around, and now he's about to get swatted. Down he goes. Tempt does find the kill on the Cinder in the back. Now Maha getting a little bit low. Doesn't quite look like it's going to be enough, though. Tempt not able to get on in there again. Ghost disappears for the fourth time tonight. I've said that so many times. Down goes Tempt. That might just be the game here for MVP. Yep, and MVP looks like they're going to push on to the Nexus turrets, and... <laughs> I don't know really what to say about this game. It was just a, a slow and steady game and, and eventually just spun out of control and BBQ's composition were not equipped to handle it without their smoke and mirrors. And when they committed to that double teleport play, it all just seemed to go completely downhill from there because that really just reduced their options. MVP took that huge decisive fight inside of BBQ's red side jungle and they got Baron and found Graves' cigar. Yeah, they did it. They finally got their goal at the end.